you sleep on your shoulder, does it hurt when you wake up? Well, that means it's not healing. And in this video, I'm gonna be going to the bedroom with my husband where I'll be showing you the best positions that you can sleep in so your shoulder doesn't hurt as much in the morning when you wake up. He's a retired boxer and he has a lot of pain in his shoulders. These positions make yourself happy and get a better quality sleep because when you sleep, your body gets a chance to heal itself. Here are three things you can do when you sleep to help that shoulder pain. My name is Sarah Jeffries. I'm a registered nurse with with a Masters of Science in Nursing, experience in ER, education and sleep therapy. Now the shoulder joint is a shallow socket and it's sensitive when it doesn't stay in the joint. So when it's pushed off to the side and the pressure on the joint is increased, that's when you'll get the pain and that's caused the muscle to become sore and it's really gonna flare up at times depending on what position you're sleeping in. So one of the most common things that people do and they don't do it on purpose, including myself, is that they roll over on the sore shoulder and when that happens, the pressure's increased on the joint and it puts it slightly out of position and it pinches and cuts off the circulation. This is why when you wake up on a morning, your shoulders are so sore because you've been sleeping in an awkward position on top of already flamed muscles. So position number one, if you sleep on your back, this is a great position to help your shoulders. Keep your shoulders in a straight line so you're not putting any extra pressure on the joint. So if you lie on your back, usually try putting some pillows underneath your arms so it's supporting your arms and they're not dropping down by your side. You're actually keeping them in a straight line, supporting that joint. And as soon as you do this, you're gonna feel it's so much more comfortable for you. So both your arms are underneath pillows. You can use two pillows if they're thin. You wanna keep that whole arm in line with your shoulder joint. Also, some people do lie on the back and put their arms overhead. I don't recommend that you do this either because we're not flexible little babies. You see babies sleep like that. Adults can't do that. It places so much pressure on your joints. So if you have a habit of this, putting your arms down on the pillows will make a huge difference to your shoulder pain. And like I said, when you're trying to heal an area, sleep is so important because that's when your body heals itself. Position number two, invest in some pillows that are meant for sleeping on your side. You don't need a lot of pillows, but you can get a nice little throw pillow or use a little pillow that you already have. And so you create a tunnel and by creating that tunnel, you're taking the pressure more on the head and more on the thoracic area, which is your rib cage, rather than the shoulder. So the next position is if you're usually a side sleeper. So let's say you have pain on your right shoulder and you usually sleep on that right side and you're doing everything you can and it's just that shoulder's not healing and it's really sore when you wake up. So what you need to do is create a little tunnel underneath the chest area so you're given the support on the thoracic area and that's really going to help that shoulder pain so you can just get a little throw pillow and put that underneath there so i'll try this one and we'll put that underneath tony's chest you see how we've created like this little tunnel through here this is where your shoulder is going to go and this is what's going to prevent your whole body weight being on that shoulder causing the pain and not allowing the shoulder joint to be healing properly all right, how's that feel? Good. Good. I think I've told this before. <laughs> <laughs> and then also what you can do is put this arm in front so you just also support on this shoulder because usually Tony's got pain in both shoulders so he needs to think about them both. Another extra little tip you can do, put a little one between your knees and just that keeps the whole body in alignment. You can also add a pillow behind you and kind of roll back a little bit and that just creates even more space to help you get off your shoulder joint. Before we go over the last position, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Now, let's just say you have the opposite problem and your left shoulder is the sore one and you're sleeping on the right side. So this shoulder is sore and that's not good either because what happens is you start to internally rotate your shoulder. So what you're doing is actually impinging the shoulder when it's like this. So let's say you have pain on this other shoulder. What you can do, is add some extra pillows in the front like we've already done and then a little pillow at the back what this does is just support this joint and keeps this in line do you see how his hands like down a little bit it's not keeping everything in line with his shoulder joint so you can add another pillow and really lifting that up so see how it's straight now so everything's straight so you have his bones all in a perfect line with each other and nothing's too far up nothing's too far down and it's just really supporting that shoulder joint if you're not getting your sleep it's not healing it's as simple as that so let's stop putting pressure on the shoulder joints get comfortable so you can sleep and your body can heal itself if you want to hear about the best mattress for sleep that i'm absolutely in love with click here where i tell you all about it